Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in this video, we will be sharing one of the important updates that we have from TCS MBA exam. Okay, that is your TCS MBA hiring exam and not about TCS MBA HR hiring. Okay, because these two are different, two different exams. We will be seeing everything in detail because the exam emails are out and the first exam is going to happen on 6th of April. I will be sharing some important tips and tricks and uh, like, you know, the syllabus it will be a kind of refreshing guide for all of you who are going to attempt your exam on 6th april so make sure to watch the video till complete end and i just want one thing from you guys if you are finding it helpful please do comment the word helpful and how many of you have received this email please comment that down so we get to know that how many of you are going to appear for your exams and i can post more videos related to that before we start the video if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as i regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you and just in case if anyone of you is not aware i have created a complete playlist on tcs mb on my channel in which i have covered a lot of questions from different sections like your business aptitude quantitative aptitude and verbal ability make sure to check this playlist as it will be very helpful because just by watching one single video you will get a practice of seven to eight different topics right okay so without wasting any time let's get started with our today's video and let's first see the email which the candidates have received who are going to have their examination on 6th of april okay so right on your screen is tcs mba uh, hiring exam emails okay let's see please be informed that the admit card of tcs MBA hiring which is scheduled on Sunday 6th of April 2025 is now available to download by logging at the link given below. So guys you have to download your uh, like uh, admit card from the given link okay previously it was a lot of confusion that from where do we get our admit cards so now it is more than clear that you have to click on this link okay and then you have to download your admit cards now when you will go on that link you need to fill in few details like your user id your user id will be given to you on your email your user password so it is mentioned here that your user id will be your first time login password so you have to use that only and note is given that please note that you have to first reset your password to download your admit card so make sure to follow that and now what are the steps to reset the password that is also given on screen one you have to enter your login id and password in this time the password will be the first time password that is the same user id only you have to fill the captcha and then click on the login button and on screen screen 2 you must enter your login id and password now please create your new password and confirm the password in the next field enter the captcha click on confirm now you will be able to uh, use your user id and new password to log in to the to log in and to download your admit card basically okay so in case you forget your password you can use the forward password option to retrieve your password okay so these like you know steps are given to how to retrieve your password or something and this is the admit card link that is given to you so guys i just want to know from all of you how many of you have received this email and how many of you are going to have your examination on 6th of april and best of luck for everyone who are going to have their exam soon because i know you guys have done a lot of uh, like good preparation from my channel itself because i also knew that there was no much preparation material available over the internet and still i am willing to prepare more content but still i am myself don't have much content about tcs mba hiring because you know that this exam is like offline and not online so we don't get much content because of it but i just want all of you who are going to appear for exams on 6th of uh, april please remember the pattern that is going to come and please if possible uh, after coming back from the exam please uh, like write over to me over insta dm that this was the pattern for the exam so that for all the candidates who are going to appear for the exam after 6th of april it will be a very good help for them okay now guys uh, talking about one thing for those candidates who have not received this email so does that mean that there is still chances that they are also going to get their emails or not so guys what i have seen as a pattern as of now is the candidates who are from 10 to 25 batch have like mostly got this but yeah few of from 24 and uh, previous batch also have got this email and um, like still there are many who have not got this email okay but uh, i am feeling like there is a high chance that again uh, like next phase of this will be also there and few more emails will come okay because yeah this has happened previously also that teachers sometimes don't take the exams all in one go they take it over this weekend and sometimes over two weekends later or like uh, in the next week okay so make sure uh, or like the ones who are waiting there is high chances for you also to get your emails okay so don't worry about that so guys let's see the test pattern for your tcs mba hiring examination 
so this is the test pattern this is officially given by tcs itself okay this will be the test pattern for your this year examination so see your duration of examination is going to be 90 minutes which means one and a half hour and you will be having three sections in your examination first being your verbal ability in which you will get seven questions then you will have numerical ability in which you will get 20 questions and then you will have business aptitude where you will have 20 questions so i don't think so that you will be short of time but I would highly suggest you that keep up your pace. Don't waste too much of time on one single question because if just in case if you waste too much of time over a single question, you might be short of time for the other questions as well. Right. So that's why uh, it is highly suggested that manage your time wisely and prepare best for your exam. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. And now let's quickly revise the syllabus for all those who are going to have this examination because it is very, very important. See, you are going to have one section which is called as business aptitude. Okay, in business aptitude, what types of questions you will get? Uh, these are the topics basically, okay? Your business and financial awareness, your logical and analytical thinking, your marketing and sales concepts, operations management and entrepreneurship innovation. And I have also included the subtopics under these. Now guys, uh, you might have been aware that like, you know, uh, you can't prepare business aptitude just by solving questions. Okay. You need your actual MBA knowledge in order to solve this question. But what we have done as a best practice is whatever the most important questions or possible questions were there, we have tried to solve them in videos. And I am also planning to post a one shot video for all the business aptitude questions, whichever are possible. So that just by watching one video, you will get the idea of what kinds of question can come and you can get a practice of good amount of questions. Okay. And yeah, you can see the complete syllabus here, but I, I was getting few questions comments also that you know uh, these like this business aptitude questions are very limited we don't have the complete idea so guys i just want to tell you that see you guys have done your mba right so whatever is covered in that that will only be a business aptitude right so it is impossible to cover the entire like mba two years mba right in just one or two single videos that is why whatever possible questions are there i'm trying to cover that and apart from that uh, it's just that you have to like you know uh, like answer based on your knowledge of MBA moving on to the next section which is going to be your verbal aptitude in verbal aptitude basically you will have questions on English grammar that is what is most expected but again for those who are going to attempt on 6th April please make sure that you come back and uh, like write over to me over Instagram DM so that I will uh, upload another video with the latest actual syllabus that is there okay and if there is anything which you feel that should be mentioned to the upcoming candidates who are going to appear for the exam please mention that too okay okay so the uh, like you know what are, what are the major topics that we can consider are important in this section is reading comprehension grammar and sentence correction vocabulary and word usage sentence completion para jumbles error spotting close test verbal reasoning okay moving on to the next set of questions which are uh, from quantitative aptitude so quantitative aptitude you also know that like whatever basically is there in numerical ability everything or anything from those topics can come okay so just for you for to give you an idea of what types of uh, topics on which you can get the questions, I have taken some topics here. Uh, so the topics are time work and time and work partnership, ratio and proportion, boats and streams, numbers and ages, mixtures and allegation, menstruation, permutations and combinations, LCM, HCF, pipe and system, percentages, simple interest, time and distance, and problems on tens and areas. Now, guys, I am thinking one thing. Uh, I am planning one thing that you know for those who are going to have their exam very soon, I am. I'm planning to create a, you know, one shot uh, formula video or like a quick revision guide in which you will get like, you know, major important formulas on all these questions. So at least it's see it's next to impossible to prepare all these topics in detail. But just by, by watching one single video, you will get the major important formulas on all topics. So just in case if you get a question also, you will remember those formulas if you have revised at the end. So let me know if you are like looking for that video. Uh, so if I get relevant amount of comments, I will create that video also. Okay, let's see other topics that are there in this section. So Races and games, indices and certs, compound interest, volumes, odd man out, quadratic equation, probability, simple equation, problem on numbers, averages, profit and loss, simplification and approximation. So some important notes now, okay. What are the sub important notes that you should be aware of well, before you attempt your TCS MBA hiring examination? So see guys, test is going to be in center and seats allowed allotted will be on a first come first serve basis. So don't uh, like, you know, reach at a very late point. I would suggest that if possible, try to like be on time or a bit early if possible so that, you know, you don't have uh, like face last minute hassles. Okay. Keep all the original academic documents ready for the interview because just in case if you get shortlisted and guys, I'm telling you uh, for those who will appear this exam like decently, I would say you can say that 
80 percent chances is there that you will get shortlisted for your interviews because see TCS MBA hiring is not the usual NQT hiring where they will do a mass rejection or something. Okay, they want to take candidates. Okay, because uh, in TCS there are a lot of MBA based projects which are going on and they are already short of candidates. So they want actually a large amount of you know candidates to hire. So that is why I'm saying it is very high chance that you all will get shortlisted if you attempt it with basic decency. Okay, let's see the next important notes. Communication related to the test will be uh, sent via TCS. I own TCS does not send job offers via unofficial emails. Example like Google, uh, sorry, Gmail, Yahoo. So make sure that you check your like email ID from which the emails you are getting. Okay, it should be like you know trustworthy. No money is required for employment offers from starting to ending. You don't have to pay even a single amount. Make sure that. External agencies are not associated with the hiring process. Strict eligibility criteria. Any discrepancy in the shared data may lead to disqualification. And here are some helpless email just in case uh, you can try. But chances are very less that they will respond. But just in case, if required, these are some of the helpless contacts. Now, guys, I have tried to cover almost everything in this video. If you have any more doubts, please let me know in the comment section. I will be answering all of them. And you can join me on Telegram. And you can also follow me on Instagram and ask your queries over there to over Instagram DM. I will I usually try to answer 100% of the DMs that I get. Okay, so you can ask your queries over there too. You can subscribe to the channel to receive all the latest regular updates from my channel. I just as I just not I am not only posting the content related to TCS MBA, but I also usually post content related to your off campus hirings for MBA drives as well. So subscribing to the channel will be very helpful for you. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching the video, and I will see you next time.